Suicide runs is a high-intensity sprinting drill, sprinting back and forth between two lines. First of all, you need to warm up by jogging at a moderate pace for 5 to 10 minutes. Then begin at the starting line and sprint to the first line. Touch the line with your hand and sprint back to the starting line. Repeat until you reach your maximal effort. And recover and cool down by walking for 5 to 10 minutes. This exercise allows for enhanced cardiovascular functioning, endurance, and trains fast twitch muscle fibers to increase acceleration and explosive power. So the focus of this exercise here, skater bounds, is going to be landing soft as well as sticking out the landing. Upon landing, we want to avoid rotation at the hips. We want to try to jump as high and as far as possible as well as staying only on one foot once we land, if possible. This exercise works the quads, abductors, glutes, and hamstrings, and plays a key role in warming up our aerobic system. To complete this next exercise, standing single leg hip circles, begin by standing up tall, keeping the back straight and the head up. Lift your left or right leg about knee high, keeping it straight. Make sure to point the toe of the leg that is lifted. Move your leg in a circular motion. You can keep your hands on your hips or out to the side for balance. Some of the main muscles being utilized in this exercise are the gluteus medius, gluteus maximus, quads, inner thighs, and abdominals. This exercise helps develop coordination and balance as well as flexibility and stability in the hips, which is important for mobility and injury prevention. For this next movement, single leg squat, begin by standing on your left or right foot. Lift your opposite leg in a straight line out slightly in front of your torso. Keep your torso up and core engaged and begin lowering into a squat by pushing your hips back. Lower yourself until your hips are parallel to the ground. Try to keep your leg up as you push into the ground with your one leg to complete the rep. This exercise activates the glutes, calves, shins, thighs, and abdominals. This exercise also helps build balancing abilities and core strength which are extremely advantageous in hockey. The ball toss with twist. This is performed by partners bouncing on one leg. One partner will start with the ball and rotate at their waist away from the partner opposite to the side they are bouncing on. They will then twist back and as they do so they will throw the ball over to their partner. The partner will catch the ball bring it into the body and will rotate as they catch. As they rotate back to starting position they will throw the ball back to the original partner. This exercise targets obliques, quads, calves, abs and shoulders. It is used to develop upper body strength as well as shoulder and hip mobility. The next exercise is squat jumps. This exercise is simply jumping straight up, landing on toes, and then ending on your heels. It is important to land soft by keeping knees and ankles bent. The biggest thing to avoid is allowing the knees to fall inward on the landing. This can be avoided by activating the hips and consciously keeping your knees outward. This exercise is great for building lower body strength and along with focusing on proper jumping technique, can be effective in preventing detrimental ligament tears in the knee. This is an all around the world lunge. To perform this exercise, you begin with your leg shoulder width apart and step your right leg out moving into sideways lunge. You then return to your starting position and step your right foot out again in front of you and move into a forward lunge. You'll repeat this on the left leg, starting with a forward lunge, going into side lunge, and finally a backwards lunge. A backwards lunge will be completed on your right side after you are done with your left side, starting the cycle again. This movement primarily works the glutes, quads, and hamstrings, and is used for knee control, leg strength, and hip mobility. The next exercise is the Nordic hamstring exercise. With the help of a partner, this exercise can be performed by kneeling on the floor, keeping your spine neutral and hamstrings engaged. Slowly lower your body towards the floor and end by catching yourself with your hands. Push yourself back up and repeat the exercise. Strengthening your hamstrings through this eccentric exercise is shown to decrease hamstring-related sport injury up to 51% and also helps to stabilize your knee joint by increasing leg muscle strength. Single leg square hops involves the glutes, quads, hamstrings, and calves, which allows for increased strength in lower muscles and hands balance to prevent injuries from falling. First of all, stand on one leg with the other leg slightly bent in front of you. Then place your hands by your side to stabilize yourself. Then create an imaginary square around you or draw lines to hop over. Hop on one leg to each quadrant. Then switch the other leg and repeat. Complete 10 repetitions on each leg for one set. 
do three sets of these. Crossovers are an important agility exercise. We want to keep them slow and controlled. First, we do a side shuffle for three steps and then going into our fourth, perform a crossover. Our leading leg comes up as if we were stepping over a hurdle. Upon planting, we complete an 180 degree turn, so the trailing leg becomes the leading leg. This exercise focuses on adductor activation. Try and keep the hips stacked. And again, don't rush the movement.